Hello guys and welcome back to Beyond Paper. I'm your host Zori Sanchez and I have a real treat for you today. So let's go ahead and get to it. Yes, you are seeing exactly what you think you're seeing. Those are cupcakes. So I work at a cupcake bakery and my employer said that it was okay for me to film this and so I just have eight standard cupcakes. The standards are what you would make at home normally. I just have eight of those formed into a shape. And I have to do Elsa's face. And I was so much fun doing it. So right here, I went ahead and mapped the face out with my black. And then I popped in my eyes. You always want to start with the eyes first when you're doing a cake. Because if you don't, then your cakes are kind of going to bulge out of the face. And that always looks a little weird. I learned that the first two times I did it. And this is my third face cake. I learned my lesson. Don't do that. So I just go ahead and fill the entire cake in. I ran out of icing. So I really tried to save as much of that as I could. Because I didn't want to make more of that skin color. But I just flat ice the entire cake and then I take this little spatula tool and I smooth the entire thing down. Which is a lot of fun. It's honestly one of my favorite parts about cake decorating that because, you know, you flatten out all of the rough edges. And then after it crusts a little bit, the icing will crust and harden. And then you can just pat it with your hands and it goes so smooth and it turns really, really pretty. And I really like it. So with also with my people icing cakes, I like to make their nose 3D. I don't know. It's just like a personal thing that I like to do. So I always just square a little bit of icing. And while that is hardening or crusting the top layer of the icing crusting, I go ahead and work on another part of the face. So right here I'm working on the lips. And just so you guys know, this is buttercream icing. All of it is buttercream icing. I don't use any royal icing or anything. So I go ahead and I went ahead and smoothed the nose out you just saw and I'm waiting for that to dry a little bit so I can pat it down and just kind of blend it into the face a little bit. This is honestly my favorite part of decorating an entire cake. I love it so much. Right here I just kind of barely scraped that black on there just to give it a little bit of definition. I think I go back in later with a yep there it is there's the toothpick. I go in and push that black down in there just so it doesn't look so harsh harsh and jagged and it just makes it all look better. So now I'm forming the nose a little bit more and I'm going in with the outline of the eyes. Now before you say anything, yes I am aware that the eyes look a little lopsided. She looks like she's cross-eyed or very very dizzy. When you're decorating these cakes, you're decorating from an angle. You don't see those things that you do whenever you're looking at them from a top view. So with all of the pictures, you can see it. But when I was decorating it, I didn't even notice. I was like, wow, I actually did a great job on my eyes. And then I ended up having them lopsided. So because Elsa is, she has very, very blonde hair, I used a brown for her eyebrows. And right now she looks a little sad and that was an accident. And I think I fixed that later when I put in her hair. For her hair, I lined my bag. I filled it with chocolate icing and then I squeezed that all out and put my vanilla icing in there. And that's how I kind of got that highlight in there. I was looking at the pictures and 3D pictures and she had some of that brown highlight or low lights. They're low lights. She had brown low lights in all of her 3D pictures. So I thought that would work, and it did. I was really excited about that. And then I gave her some wisps. So right here, this is edible glitter. Yes, edible glitter. You can eat that. And so I went ahead and popped that on her eyelids just to make it look like she had makeup on. For her right eye, your left, viewer's left eye, um, I made it a little darker towards the corner of the eye, and I didn't really like that, but I think I fixed it later. I don't remember. Oh, and then this is more edible glitter. I glittered her whole head of hair with just some snow glitter. She was really, really glittery. I love using edible glitter so much. It's one, honestly one of my favorite parts. And then I used a light pink glitter for her cheeks and the tip of her nose just to give her a little bit of a rosy look. And then I put a hot pink glitter on her lips. 
and I don't know, whenever you do glitter, I think it looks best as makeup or like a blush or something. And then the lady that wanted this cake, she wanted flowers in her hair. So we had some of these icing sugar flowers and I put those in. So here's the finished cake. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I actually really like decorating cakes. I love my job. It's amazing. And I really like how this one turned out. This is the best icing person I have done so far. I know her eyes are a little crooked, but at least they're not bulging out of her head. I, I did learn my lesson there. I did learn my lesson. I, I In the past, my very first one was Rapunzel, and then my second one was Moana. But I really enjoyed doing these, and it was fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And hey, you know, maybe you can go and make your own Rapunzel cake, or not Rapunzel, this is Elsa. Go and make your own Elsa cake. If you do, you might want to go ahead and tag me in the photo. I would love to see it. I'm on Instagram at Beyond Paper, or um, I don't know, what other social media am I on? Mostly just Instagram. I haven't gotten to the other ones yet. Okay. But you guys gotta go. I love you. You're all amazing. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Talk to you later.